Hey, what is up, you guys? It's John Kitts. Um, I'm here to bring you a tutorial on how to do a pointer scan. Now, a pointer scan is going to help you find the static pointer pointing to a value, meaning that pointer will never change, so you can use it in a trainer. Um, my next tutorial that's going to be coming out, which is the next video, is going to be on how to create a form, um, add buttons to it, and make them buttons either comply to an edit box so people can enter their own values for their money or whatever you hacked or um, also teach you how to create a regular button so you can put your own values or um, a god mode button etc um, I'll show you all that good stuff in the next tutorial but right now we're going to be focusing on pointer scans now the game we're going to be playing and the game um, we're going to be doing this on is by Rebellion and it's called um, Judge Dread versus Zombies um, um, the process is Undercity, Win, or T just in case anybody's wondering if you're trying on this game just to get a feel for it so the first thing I'm gonna do is get in so we can find the ammo. I'm gonna demonstrate this through ammo since um, points up here. That's gonna be actually a static value right off the bat. So what you're gonna do is search for 12. As you can see down here, we have 12 bullets right here. So I'm gonna search for 12 for the very first game. Make sure to put your value type as all. Um, you never know if it could be a 4 by you never know if it could be a float in some games, just I always put it as all and um, keep searching. So, I usually shoot twice, and then 10, alright, so I know it's not going to be the static value, you can disregard that. Um, let's try the bottom one first. I go back and press resume. Okay, so it was the bottom one. A hundred. We have a hundred bullets now. So what you're gonna do is go over here, as you can see, and you're just gonna right click it and then go to pointer scan for this address. And then don't edit anything on the screen. Don't press anything but OK. Um, save it or whatever you want. Um, I'm gonna save mine as Undercity One. Um, I like to keep mine organized, so I usually just um, name it after the game or after the process and put a 1, 2, etc. Um, every pointer scan. So mine's going to be one, under city 1. Of course, I already have one, so I'm just going to override it. So after this is done, I'm going to show you what to do. Um, do not worry if you have this many results. Um, we're about to narrow them down um, after what I'm about to do. We're probably going to have to do this maybe three times to narrow it down to three or two um, um, static pointers that point to the value. And only one of them is going to work. So I'm going to teach you what to do right now. Um, just minimize that. Keep cheat, cheat engine open. And then you're going to exit out the game, reopen the game, and then reattach to the process and get rid of the, um, so you get rid of that, press um, do not keep, because they're useless now, and then go back to the game and research like we um, did earlier, press 12, and then 10, etc., um, and just find the, the um, other address. So, we got 12, I'm going to search 12. Um, make sure to press new scan, and then first scan. Shoot twice, now we have 10. Next scan. Alright, so, again it shows up, um, that static right there. Um, that does nothing. Do not worry about it. I know it keeps showing up over and over and over again, but trust me, I've been tested. It doesn't do anything. Um, it's going to be throughout these right here, these three right here. So, I just picked the bottom one again, these three. So, I just picked the um, bottom one again, as you can see, change it to 100. 
So, so zoom. Okay. So it's 100. All right. Now what you're gonna do is double click on the address right here. And then what you're gonna do is copy this address. Copy the full thing. Just copy it. Exit out that little window. Now pull back up the um, PTR scan I told you to minimize earlier. And go here to pointer scanner. Go down to rescan memory. And then paste the uh, address you just copied. And then press OK. Now save it as whatever you want but I usually as I said I go by number base so this will be under city 2 because this is my second scan and I'll save it of course I already have one so I'm going to replace it okay so as you can see we're down to only 138 now this is 138 static pointers pointing towards the value but only one of them actually changes the value so we're gonna go back um, close the game like we did earlier open the game and then reattach the process now I know this is very repetitive um, you have to do this it depending on the game one game I've hacked one game that I've had to do this 9 15 times before I actually got to a static address and even then I had 20 results so I had to go through all 20 of them so it's a long process but it's all worth it in the end so as you can see we're just searching for the value once again shooting twice finding the addresses alright it's usually if fit spawn some random ones in there sometimes you'll have some random ones um i suggest this doing one more scan shoot twice make it eight do another scan and it'll look like this so i'm gonna go with the bottom one again most likely it's the bottom one no it's not this time as you can see it didn't change the value it stayed at 10 so go to the next one change the value you'll do this with a lot of games see now it's the middle one to change the value and what you're going to do is go over the address and just copy the address like we did before go back to the pointer scan go to pointer scanner rescan memory completely get rid of the old address and paste the new one and then press ok um, save it again Again, you can do whatever you want. I just like to be number based. It's more organized and I know where everything's at. Okay, now we're down to 16. Now, with this amount, you can search for it throughout these 16. Um, it will probably only narrow down. If you um, exit the game, reattach the cheat engine, and pull up the um, pointer scan once you're in game with the bullets, it will probably only narrow down to three of them that have 12. So you really only have three out of the sixteen to choose from. Um, but I'll, I'll show you guys right now. Hold on. I'll show you guys how to search for this if you do, because sometimes you cannot find less than sixteen, so you have to deal with it. So I'm going to show you guys to deal with it right now. Um, you can keep searching like we was doing earlier. Um, if you want want to try to get less. Alright, so boom, we have 12. So you're going to go back, boom. As you can see, out of the 16, there's only two right here that actually point to the value 12. So I'm going to go with a uh, top one first. They both look like the same. As you can see, it's 12. And I'm going to change the value with the zero to make it 120 and we're gonna go back to game boom there you go so this right here is the static pointer to the actual value meaning this will never change this is suitable for a trainer if you want to create a trainer which is going to be in my next video like I said um, you put this inside of a trainer now sometimes you will get a game like I said that will have these green addresses now green addresses is uh, static 
pointer, meaning that would never change. That will always be there, or that address will always work. Um, you can point that, you can um, put that in the trainer, um, and it will work. As long as it's a green address, meaning it is a static address. Now, we just did a search down the um, static pointer for the value through uh, pointer scan. So, as you can see, we found the pointer um, that will not change and that we're going to create a trainer with. All you got to do is save it as, name it whatever you want. Um, and then you have created a cheat table that you can open up and I'll explain that in the next video um, You can use the cheat table to create a trainer with a custom design and custom color etc And I will also teach you how to go up here and create a form through create a form um, And I will show you guys some LUI script um, LUI coding for the trainer for adding buttons, link to edit boxes, and so on, so on. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Um, links down in the description to everything you will be needing. Um, I will leave a link to um, the game. Just in case, if you're looking for it, I'll leave a link down there to the Windows Store, um, straight to the game. Um, of course, I suspect you guys already have Cheat Engine, so I won't leave that link out. Again, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.